Hello everyone, how's it going? So my name is Bran, uh, Elias, Elias, hello, how's it going? So my name is Elias, and today we are going to be doing a sort of a fun video where I basically place some of my favorite Y characters and characters that I like into certain different categories in high school of where I think they would be like in clicks like jock, cheerleader, etc. And also I wanted to further it up by possibly telling you guys where I think these characters would major in in college, which I think is a little fun idea. I also want to mention that this video is also being sponsored by HarperCollins in honor of the release of The Field Guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Phillip. So, um, this book is a contemporary book and I normally don't reach out too much to contemporary books, but after reading the synopsis, I do plan on picking this up and it just gave me all the warm fuzzies and feelings as if you would watch like a really good coming of age movie like Perks of Being a Wallflower, which is one of my favorite coming of age movies of all time. So this is an own voices novel and it's about a black French Canadian student who moves from Canada to Austin, Texas in the US. There at the school, he starts categorizing these different people in like stereotypes, like high school cliques and everything. And on prom night, he royally screws things up. He soon realizes that he can't always hide behind his snarky opinions and start living his life along with people who have found a way into his heart. So this sounds really good. And along with the idea of bullet journaling in this book, which is really prominent, you guys can see some of the doodles here inserted on the cover of the book as well as the back of the book. And uh, I, fun fact, originally was going to do like a bullet journaling idea category with this whole video idea, but I scrapped that just because it was really hard to just film at an angle. My camera kept tipping over and I can't draw to save my life, so it wasn't going to be very artistic and I thought it would be better if I just did it this way. So, just letting you know, FYI. Thank you again for HarperCollins for sending me a copy of this book. I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested. This book does come out on January 8th. Along with categorizing just different people into the, these different categories, I also wanted to do that idea but with Y characters. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So um, just a little backdrop about myself. I am in college and I was homeschooled growing up and so I didn't really go to an actual high school so I thought it would be really fun to talk about these characters and these sort of cliques because I've never really went to an actual high school, never really like associate myself with any of these cliques. This is just my own interpretation of it. I thought it would be really fun. And yeah, so I'm currently now majoring in graphic design just to give a little gist of where this is going. So the first character I obviously want to talk about, of course, is Adam Parrish from the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Skewater. So Adam Parrish for me is one of my favorite characters of all time. He's just a very quiet, unassuming kind of character. He works very hard to get to where he's at, especially in school. If he went to a high school that I went to, um, we'd be like best friends and also like we would just be shipped all the way around. A certain character I know would not be very happy that Adam Parrish and I would be together, but you know what? It's fine. And I do realize I'm talking about a fictional character, so that's great. Adam Parrish it's just so hard, I think, of all the characters here to just be placed in any category because he's just, he's very quiet but also very loud in a very, like, vague sense. If you read the books, you'll know what I mean. As a good friend once told me after he read the whole series, he said, Adam Parrish is so ordinary that he is extraordinary, which makes so much sense. So I was like, wow, that, that was just so deep, but also, like, it makes so much sense. So if Adam Parrish was in my high school, he would probably be the top of his class, top of the school, he would be the valedictorian. That is literally the only category I could think of placing him, um, a valedictorian. And I guess, again, I couldn't really place him in any other major as well. I didn't know what he would go into. And I think, I think that's a good thing because I couldn't really place Adam Parrish anywhere. And in the books, you couldn't really place him anywhere either as well. Again, if you read the series, you know what I'm talking about. He's just larger than life on a very quiet, intelligent scale. Like, I can't really explain it, okay? <laughs> like, if I really had to place him in a category, maybe graphic design, you know, because I'm in graphic design, I think we'd be a good pair match. I don't know. That is a very un-Adam Parrish-like major to go into. Adam Parrish, the unknown, very fitting. So the next character I want to talk about from another favorite book of mine is Laszlo Strange from Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. So if Laszlo Strange was a high school student, um, I would place him as a theater kid because he has this very austere look about him, very complacent, very kind, but very eccentric, I think, his personality. He really likes books. I was gonna originally place him like as a nerd, as a geek, but I think theater, theater kid would probably be a better category to place him in because 
yeah, I think I think it would be perfect for him actually if he was going to major something in college. Like, I honestly think he would probably go into like English, because just because he works at a bookstore and he loves books, so probably English literature and writing, possibly be an author. Or he could honestly be a tattoo artist. I don't know where that came from, but I just I could see him quiet, just drawing arts on a person. I think that would be really great. Maybe a bartender as well in a very low key setting. So yeah, I think that's that's somewhere he would go to in like later in life. But yeah, theater kid, definitely 100%. Next character I want to talk about and place in would be Alien Galathinius, Galinathinius, whatever her last name is. Um, from Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. 100% cheerleader. She, she just, can you see her as a cheerleader? Even though she's like a badass and everything and she just, she has a warrior's heart. I feel like cheerleader suits her best. Would she be a very nice cheerleader? I honestly don't even know actually. I think she could honestly fit the role of a mean girl as well with a kind heart. Even though it's very contradictory but I guess you can kind of see where I'm going if you have read the books. If she was to major in something later in college, she would probably be, I think, really great at like fashion design. She'd be perfect in this like cutthroat, competitive world of fashion design. Either that or she would be like an Instagram like fashionista or something like that. Someone popular, I guess. Someone very well known who is very creative and like designing stuff. I think that would be her ideal major. So yeah. The next character I want to talk about in another book that I really enjoyed is Amika Chen in Warcross by Marie Lu. Amika would probably be categorized as a nerd or a geek. She plays a lot of games, she knows all about them, and if she had to choose a major, you know, going to a major in college, she would probably major in animation and illustration. Also her side job would probably be like designing a game or a beta game tester, which I think would be perfect for her in this case. She's very quick-witted, um, a little bit quick-tempered, especially when it comes to certain games. I think this is sort of the characteristics and person I picked up on her character when I read the book. And yeah, I think in high school she would be a nerd or geek, but she would wear it proud, loud and proud. There's nothing wrong with being a nerd or a geek. Honestly, everyone is a nerd or a geek these days. Everyone plays games. The next character I want to talk about is another character from one of my favorite books. It's Elias Venturius from An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. And no, that is not where I got my name Elias from. FYI. So Elias is a very rigid... <sighs> oh my god, dogs are so annoying sometimes. Sorry, that was my dog barking. <sighs> Elias Venturius, okay? He's a very sort of rigid, like straightforward person. He knows what he's doing, like what he wants. And I would place him in the category of a jock, honestly, 100% jock. But he wouldn't be one of those obnoxious, like party rowdy jocks. He'd be one of those quiet, austere, but definitely jock, 100%. He would be a beast like on the sports field, like probably football, something like that. If he had to like major something later in college, I think he would probably major in maybe kinesiology. If that's what popular these days every athlete wants to get into kinesiology or i think navy seal or like the military or seal team six honestly one of those things he probably be perfect for definitely job but one of the more polite and just his own zone type of person so the next person um is from another book i really enjoyed is kaz brecker from six of crows by lee bardugo kaz if i had to place him if, I, if he went to high school he would probably be top of the food chain in terms of the mastermind of everything, of the whole school, of what happens, of how class schedules go, in terms of very like sneaky sort of, not exactly manipulative, but this guy knows who he is and like who he's dealing with. I was originally going to place him as a jock, but that does not fit him at all. So I placed him as sort of like a goth loner type of guy, but he is not like a loner. Like loner is just like his like front, I guess. All the kids like would know his name, who he is, like what he does. He's one of the characters that just knows everything about a person, every student, every teacher who goes there. So he would be the goth loner type, I guess, but he is not a loner by any means. He has his own like following, I guess you could say his own type of people that follow him everywhere. So if you had to major in something um, in college, I originally was going to say an engineer, but then again, that could be his front as well. His fronts to like a bigger picture, I guess, a CIA agent. I think it fits in perfectly, an FBI, CIA, something in that field, working for the government. Yeah, that's where Kaz Brecker would go to. Engineer, CIA, FBI type of type of dude. If you read the book, you'll definitely know what I mean. Last and not least is Kel from A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. So Kel 
um, I just realized would be really great partner with Kaz from Six of Crows because Kel is just that type of person who's very mischievous. I think he'd be like the troublemaker in the classroom. If I had to place him in the category in high school, is there even a type for this type of character? Delinquent or person who goes to who is always in detention but always manages to sneak out detention? I don't even know. I guess you can say he's one of those troublemakers. But like one of the friendly troublemakers, you know, not the bad kind, but the good kind, the mischievous kind. He's always getting himself into trouble, possibly others as well, and always pulls these pranks on certain students and teachers and class clown of the year, I guess, if I had to give like a category to it. If he had to major in something, honestly, I honestly think Kel would not major in anything at all um, and just drop out of high school, I think. Or not drop out of high school, poss possibly not go to college. And I think that's perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with that if that's your choice. Either be a college dropout or not go to college at all. But he would travel to all these different places and just learn so much about different cultures and styles and lifestyles and everything. I think it's also, in another way, really great as well. Housebreaker, class clown, troublemaker, mischievous, and college dropout. Traveler around the world. So that is pretty much it for this whole video idea. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of my putting these different YA characters into like these different YA cliques or high school cliques. And I want to hear about some of your favorite characters, where you would place them, and what kind of majors they would study in colleges. Thank you again for HarperCollins for sending me the field guide to the North American Teenager. Again, I will leave a link down in the description box below if you guys want to order it. It comes out on January 8th. Thank you again for watching, you guys, and I will see you guys all soon with a new video.